All right, hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Gonna attempt this uh, manifold removal. Getting ready for my dual ICT Weber's um, 34 ICTs. They'll be coming in next week sometime. A few more days. Still the same day. I just got my carb out. Took it off. There's my plenum. Need to get that thing removed. And then I'll take out my manifolds and yeah we'll see how it goes so first thing I like to do if you guys can see remove this spark plug wire that way you can get access to that nut that's down there So that'll be the first step. I'll go ahead and remove that now. After I get all this stuff loosened up and I know I'm good, I'll just go ahead and loosen up right there and this is just a 13 again so same as my carb was not sure if all carbs are the same or if this one just happens to be different one thing I like to do I mean I'm sure you guys know better not to but I do like to, to tag these just so I know and I'm sure they're going back in the right spot before I plug them in. So let me go ahead and grab a little tape and my marker. I'll just wrap a piece of tape around it telling me where it goes so we'll just call this one the back since it's towards the back of the bus I'll wrap my tape Sorry guys, wrap my tape around it. I got that one labeled as the back of the bus now. So I'll know no matter what I do with these wires that it goes towards the back of the bus. And this one will be the front of the bus. What I do with my marker. Could probably just write a B and an F or a rear, you know, an R or whatever. I like to make things big. I'm 40 now. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I hate to admit it, but it's the truth. So now that I got that. We'll go ahead and work on this other one in the back here. I should be able to see it. Oh yeah, there she is. She's a beauty. So 
review is a little messed up. I'm sorry. I'll get you guys fixed up here in a second. I just need to find this nut. Whoa. Engine 10 bolt back there that I kept thinking was that one. Yes. Uh, very possibly. Give me a few minutes, bud. All right. It's pretty much there. Should be able to get it the rest of the way by hand. one loose enough yeah I got her my kid wants me to play hide and seek I hate to leave him hanging I'm all greasy and stinky right now anyway so he probably wouldn't even like it all right so uh, I got that pretty much freed up I just need to get these Undo those bands. And I am almost ready. ready for my new carbs I'll go ahead and just remove this make it easy on myself wait there's no questions is this clamp hanging me up or not Okay, got that, this, just slide it back, like so, <clears throat> thing's almost there, kind of a pain in the butt, goes a little deep inside. So maybe if I get working on the other side, maybe I will slide it over enough to get it out. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll just move over to the other side. Pretty much the same thing, just reverse order. Or same order, just reverse side. guys a good shot I can't really see get that fuel line out of the way here's my 
front or my back front <sighs> This marker is shot. Let me see if I can get my other one. Sorry for the dead space there, guys. I just couldn't see anything with this other marker I was using. The thing was totally dried out. probably don't need to label both of them but I kind of like to do both just in case one falls off or or something you never know what this blue painters tape could create issues so got that we start with the deep one you got to drop the engine or you need to remove these engine tins to get these out that's just not the case at least from what I found I can do it fine with the engine in and the engine tins in at least I hope I'm not done yet guys Not sure if I'm gonna have to remove my alternator or not to get this out I mean it's very possible I might um, if that's the case and I can't get this out I'll just uh, come back another time and show you how to remove the alternator from a bus which it's all really simple stuff man it's not hard. That's why these things are so loved. Not only because of that, but you know they're cool. But they're easy to work on. At least I thought they were. Alright. There's one. Let's get this other one. See if I can get this out of here. See if it's just bugging me. I'm ready for it to go. Get to the gone. Oh, 
I like that. And then, just this pain in the butt over here. It's still hanging up on me. Oh dear. It's like I say, perseverance, you know? We'll get through it. my dreams. Just about there. willing to say screw it and take this whole doghouse off but if I can avoid it why not I know it'll make my life easier if I did it but you can kind of see show you what I'm dealing with this side piece of cake came right out no problem this side on the other hand it's just hitting right here in this little heat exchanger being a pain in the butt See, maybe if I keep toying with it, I'll get it. That's pretty far on this thing. And it's still got a little bit of ways to go. 
So, we'll see what I can do. I'm not going to give up on it yet. Perseverance. I'll get it out. Maybe I'll have to do a little more work. Remove a little more stuff. That's the case, no biggie. more intimate you are with the machines the better the more stuff you learn how to do the more stuff you know how to fix the better off you'll be especially in the future you know if you have a problem on the side of the road driving these things it's gonna happen don't think it's just gonna be some joyride you got a brand new engine got brand new carbs got a brand new tranny brand new everything hey all my stuff's new i break down all the time <laughs> i'm always fixing this thing i haven't done a new carb in about 10 years though watch my other video about taking off the carb I say that um, I only got about 10,000 miles on that carb well it's true I've only driven about a thousand miles a year on this thing it doesn't get driven much maybe because it's always breaking down on me I'm always having to fix it. Always doing something, some type of upgrade or some type of rebuild, taking things apart, working on my steering, my suspension. Yeah, I just don't think this thing's going to come out. Not like this. I may have to take that doghouse out. Or at least shift it a little bit if I can. If I could get it to loosen up and shift back just a hair, that would be ideal. Let me tell you. I don't think I would be able to. I could try, but I doubt it. Never fails. Whenever you need something, it's never around. I had all my stuff right here. Oh, of course. Right in front of me. I'll just see if I can get this to shift ever so slightly back. And if I can, I think it... I think it'll be enough. I'm not sure if I can, but October I'm out here in California let me tell you it's smeltering hot right here in the Sun working like this wish I would have reversed it in my garage when I parked it I've been working on it inside the garage instead of outside the garage but whatever it is what it is 
on here and doing it. to have to remove the alternator just for that but it looks like I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to no S and or butts see if there's anything I can do here thing strapped to the stand I can just unstrap this Maybe take my belt off, get it loose a little bit. It should be good. I don't know where my machine is, so eh, it might be a different video. just like a hair. I'm not going to be reusing these for anything. Brand new manifold's coming, so if I mess it up a little bit, I don't really care. I'm like not even kidding how close that thing is. Maybe a sixteenth. <laughs> it's like that close.
handle it so much, I just snap it. Sometimes we need to manhandle things. I'm not too worried about the studs. I don't think I'll snap those. I'm more worried about just damaging the housing and possibly my paint. But that's what these things are meant for. Tear them up. And there it is. Got it. It only took me 30 minutes. But <laughs> that sucker's out of there. And I'm all set for my new manifolds look at that they gouge the shit out of it all set for my new manifolds and I guess I will do another video when I put those manifolds in um I am going to do a rejetting on my new carbs. I'm pretty much at sea level here on the central coast, California. So, and I got a bigger engine. I know that uh, those 34 ICTs by Weber aren't necessarily made. For VW motors not necessarily set up stock I mean yeah they're made for them but they're not set and ready to rock and roll you are gonna have to do some rejetting to them and make them work for your engine you know like I said my engine is a little built I do have a a1 sidewinder And yeah, hey, I got it out without having to without having to take off the manifold, without having to take off the engine tins or the doghouse for that matter. I just kind of I did take out this one bolt to see if I can get a little tiny bit of wiggle because I just needed that eighth of an inch. And it worked. Uh I had to break out the pry bar though. <laughs> but hey, once I got that pry bar, it came right out. I just didn't have the the manpower, my old weak man muscles didn't quite cut it. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, throw up another video. If you guys like uh, seeing this stuff, subscribe, like it, whatever. Peace.